We are back this morning in depth today in the growing fallout over the sudden financial collapse of a cryptocurrency giant called FTX. Yeah, a new class action lawsuit is not only targeting the company, but it is also targeting a number of high profile celebrities who endorsed it. NBC's Sam Brock joins us from the federal courthouse in Miami. Sam, good morning. Hey guys, good morning. That multi-billion dollar class action lawsuit was filed right here in U.S. District Court in Miami. One of the names you would expect to see on the lawsuit is the former CEO of FTX, Sam Bankman-Fried. But also included in the lawsuit, celebrity endorsers, everybody from Tom Brady to Larry David, as a company that was once valued at $32 billion, guys, suddenly went bankrupt overnight. And I'm never wrong about this stuff. Never. A-list celebrities and athletes facing a high-profile legal battle after serving as faces for a crypto company, FTX, that just filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The multi-billion dollar class action lawsuit accuses FTX, its former CEO, and around a dozen celebrities of causing some $11 billion in U.S. investor losses. The suit alleges efforts to take advantage of unsophisticated investors, adding the parties never performed any due diligence before marketing these FTX products to the public. Are you in? You know what? I'm in. Tom Brady, Giselle Bunchin, Steph Curry, Larry David, Naomi Osaka, and the Shark Tank's Mr. Wonderful Kevin O'Leary, just some of the well-known figures named in the suit. O'Leary discussing the decision on CNBC. It's not the first time I've made a bad investment. Probably not the last time. NBC News has reached out to all of their respective legal teams and has not yet heard back. The big question, how much do the defendants know about the product they endorsed? It's a question of whether they can just claim that they were duped as well. You have to look at each individual endorsement. You have to look at how they endorsed it. FTX poured millions into ads from social media. But you are an expert, right? No, I'm not an expert and I don't need to be. With FTX, I have everything I need to buy, sell, and trade crypto safely. To must-see television events like the Super Bowl. Like I was saying, it's FTX. It's a safe and easy way to get into crypto. Yeah, I don't think so. The platform's once massive $32 billion valuation seemingly vanishing overnight. Now you're seeing, in some cases, some of these are crashing as there's more and more market instability. That leads to more challenges than the questions of who's to blame. FTX, that's the crypto app, right? Now it's for all kinds of investing. It's better. And Mr. Bankman Freed is apologizing to FTX investors, saying he's as shocked as anybody at how quickly this company unraveled. And he's also promising guys to provide some clarity, a play by play, as to what went wrong once he figures it out. Yeah. Back to you. A lot of questions in that one. Sam Brock outside that federal courthouse. Sam, thank you. Mm-hmm.